One of these teams, we are not shocked as here, Louisville. This is, we could pencil them in. They, they didn't bust anybody's bracket. Wichita State, they arrive at Atlanta. Well, let's just say 47 people have all the four teams <laughs> in the Final Four. <laughs> That's, a, that's right, John. You know, the Shockers keep finding ways to win and reinventing themselves, according to their coach. But one thing that won't change, they intend to keep playing like their hair's on fire, according to Malcolm Armstead, where it's been a, an emotionally taxing week for the Cardinals, but they now have a singular focus, summed up by Kevin Ware's tweet from this morning. One more goal, two more games. This is not a Cinderella team. This is a great basketball team. I don't think we know Cinderella. They said they're the nine seed. They said they don't like being called Cinderella. I mean, everybody's good. If you're in the Final Four, you're in the Final Four. Well, it's going to take more than chemistry against Louisville. It's going to take a lot of good performances. It's a deep, talented, fundamentally strong basketball team. We know that. We're going out there to play with the same chip they got to play with. You have to stick with your game plan. We know what they're going to do well. We just can't fall into that trap. Playing with a huge chip on their shoulders, or playing with a huge chip on our shoulders, we got to go out there and just execute our game plan. As much as they're wearing us out, we want to wear them out too. Go all out, play hard, and everything to take care of itself. Strong and tough with the ball. They're going to have to make great decisions. Push the pace, continue to go out there and play the way we've been playing. We can't change anything now. I really can't explain it. It's, it's going to be crazy. And for the Shockers, it already has been crazy. I mean, what a difference a few wins makes. On a weekly basis, their coach, Greg Marshall, would do his radio show and two interviews, one for the local paper, the Wichita Eagle, and one for the Sunflower, the school paper. Well, in the last week alone, he's had 500 interview requests. And now for the latest on Michigan and Syracuse, here's Andy Katz. Well, thank you, Janine. Certainly in this NCAA tournament on the court, Two of the biggest stories have come from Michigan and Syracuse. Arguably the shot of the NCAA tournament was by Trey Burke in Michigan against Kansas that to force that overtime game in the regional semifinal where he had that step back three pointer. But the zone of Syracuse has absolutely flummoxed every team in San Jose and in Washington DC. It's been like a web luring in its prey. Teams have absolutely frozen sort of making Indiana's offense completely useless. Marquette, which knew the zone, still froze, trying to go through late possessions. But the big question for Syracuse and Michigan is will Trey Burke still be the story Saturday night? Michigan has a lot of offensive weapons. I think they're probably the best offensive team in the country. No, offense isn't really the key. It's going to be defense. I definitely think it's going to be their, their defensive schemes that's going to make or break us. I mean, Trey, Trey Burke's an incredible player. He's an engine to that team. You know what type of player he is. He, he got good players around him as well, so we just, you can't focus all on him. They have a lot of guards who, who are long and athletic, so they cover a lot of ground in their zone. Their anticipation skills are incredible, so we just gotta do a great job of just getting good shots and just taking them. I guess if they get hot showing threes, then, you know, it could be a trouble for us. You know, we have to use a lot of ball fakes, and, uh, you know, make the right pass. And, and at the end of the day, we have to knock down shots. We say we want to get to Monday night. We got to get through Saturday and have any chance at Monday night. Now on Friday, Trey Burke won three National Player of the Year awards. He won the Wooden, he won the AP, and he won the Oscar Robertson. And Michael Carter-Williams of Syracuse saying during the breakout session on Friday that all the pressure now is on Trey Burke. He's got to live up to those expectations as being the National Player of the Year. And Michael Carter-Williams said, the pressure's off me. The pressure is on Trey Burke.